I think that uh, Watergate is already having a very uh, bad effect, as you can see by the stock market, which was in early January, if you look at the Dow Jones, uh, at uh, 1,045, but in uh, this current week had dropped below 900. That indicates a lack of confidence on the part of money managers and investors in the economy. I think you can see that uh, although business profits in the first quarter went up a hefty 11 uh, percent, double the rate in the last quarter of last uh, year, that nonetheless uh, the stock market has been uh, dropping and the value of the dollar in foreign markets has been declining precipitously. I think you can see that inflation continues to uh, run uh, rampant with consumer uh, prices uh, running up, uh, I think, at a rate of about 9 percent for the a most uh, recent figure. And the White House has not been able to focus on these very serious economic problems because the President has uh, been preoccupied uh, with the uh, pattern of corruption on the part of some of his associates. So the country is paying a very high price uh, for the corruption of Watergate. You cite three lessons to be learned from Watergate in your address to the Ball State graduates today. Well, the first lesson is that in a free society, politics must have some purpose beyond simply winning and retaining power. There has to be a moral purpose to politics. In my own judgment, uh, the major purpose of politics is to seek justice and freedom for the people of our country. And the second lesson of Watergate is that we must uh, reinvigorate the separation of powers which is rooted into the American constitutional system. What we've seen is that the power has got so out of hand in the executive branch that the legislative and judicial branches have been weakened. And the third lesson of uh, Watergate is that we have to have a revival of citizen participation in our national government in particular. We must get away from the notion which I think some people in the executive branch have had that because they were temporarily elected to office that they own the government of the United States. Those are the lessons of Watergate. How will Watergate affect the president's ability to function with world leaders like Brezhnev, who's coming here next month? It's difficult to say with assurance, but certainly the president's position has not been strengthened, and in my own view, the security of our nation has been very seriously damaged. He has been demeaned. What was your reaction to and the implications of Congressman Mills' alleged suicide yesterday? Well, I was shocked and dismayed at the death of a colleague. I do not know what the causes of the alleged suicide may be, but uh, if it should prove to be the case that the question of campaign contributions had anything to do with it, I think this is all the more reason we should more vigorously enforce our campaign financing laws. And what effect will Watergate have on uh, economic problems here and abroad? Uh, the president, when he said that he was going to turn to other matters now, that Watergate was behind him. Absolutely That's not. The facts have not yet all come out.